Well, Stuart Resnick and I have one thing in common. Our fathers were both bar owners. Um, so we, <laughs> I was there. able to trade on that. He came from New Jersey, a Jewish kid, comes west, uh, becomes a millionaire at UCLA Law School, while he's at UCLA Law School, and then you, you can read how he accumulates that. In the 70s, he decides he needs a hedge against inflation. He comes to Delano, which is one of the civil rights datelines of America, right? It's where Cesar Chavez's movement began, and he buys some farmland there. And then he buys the farmland from the oil companies who didn't care about farming anyhow. And pretty soon, he's the biggest grower of pistachios, almonds, mandarins, and pomegranates in the world. He lives in Beverly Hills, and his farming empire up and over the mountain exists in a place called Lost Hills. It's 80 miles as the crow flies, couldn't be farther. And um, so I get inside his whole empire, uh, and it's not just his, it's what his wife Linda mm -hmm. is a marketing genius. She came up, when, when they put the bowl of mandarins, the first crop of mandarins in front of her, and they could peel them very nicely, and they tasted sweet. Uh, she, well, we have to come up with a name for this. And so she came up with the name Cuties. And then the partner that they had, they got into a big war, and the partner ended up buying the Cuties for 40 million. And so she just turned around and invented the Halos. And now in the, in, in, on the land of the valley, we have a war going on between the Cuties and the Halos. <laughs> <laughs>